what's up everybody welcome to max's mics podcast episode 33 i am your guest emiliano tamez in today's episode we'll be discussing battle people amongst other things open them again and it was in the edge of my bed dog like this is my bed it, let's say it was in the corner i closed my eyes oh. when i opened them it was right here. jp matter 6526 says one time i was in my room and i woke up from sleeping in the dark and there was a black figure with glowing red eyes he would say like oh what is that man with the hat doing over there it wasn't the first time that, that somebody claimed yeah. to see that guy in that house <laughs> anyway so today we're gonna be discussing the shadow people and this weird phenomena that uh, apparently like everyone worldwide experiences so uh, Whenever you said Frank uh, that everybody sees like a like a shadow man with a with a hat, because that's yeah, because that's exactly what our friends saw like a long time ago that, when we used to hang yeah, out with that, them. That's what I'm saying, dude. And, and not because not even that, but my mom has also seen it because she, well, she didn't tell me, but my dad told me like a couple of a couple of things, a couple of stories that I'll probably mention here yeah. later on in the podcast. Um, how. I don't know what was going on. I don't know if like my mom was going through like some spiritual shit or she was, you know, praising the devil or some shit. Mom, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> but like, uh, she, uh, she has seen, heard and seen stuff in our old, do you remember the old house where I used to live like right next to the dog park? Yeah. Like, where, yeah like, where, where you made me clean dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I made Max my slave that day, but yeah, when we clean dog shit. Okay. Nah, but it was honestly my fucking dad, bro. We fucking pulled. You pulled up. We were ready to play. Y'all yeah. can't play until y'all clean up the dog shit <laughs> in the back. Yeah, bro. <laughs> what no, the bro. fuck? Well, like, 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 I show up. I show up, bro. And I'm like, I'm already here with my Xbox, right? Like, <laughs> like it's already in my backpack or like some games or whatever the fuck. And then like I, I show up, and then Frank opens the door. He's like. All right, what do you want to do? Do you want to cut the grass or do you want to pick up poops? And I was like, no, mom. And Max was all like, I'm going to go back home, my boy. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah, but, nah, but yeah, well, that house. <laughs> yeah. That um, my mom, I mean, even I experienced, that's probably been like the house that I experienced a lot of fucking shit too. Um, but my mom, like my mom told my dad this stuff. And then my dad, a couple years later, like, or after I should say, he, then he told me like, oh, yeah, your mom heard and saw this. And then she saw this figure and the figure that she saw was also a same tall black figure with like a hat. But I think it had like red glowing eyes on this one. Oh, and, and, and I have heard and seen a lot of videos and even friends yeah. uh, that yeah. have reportedly been seeing. I mean, not constantly, but, you know, the people that we've talked to that that's happened to. Yeah. That they've seen basically the same exact figure, like the tall yeah. black shadow with a hat. hat? I don't know a fedora, bitch. I don't fucking no, know. No, I, I think I a think sombrero I, shit. Yeah, I, th I think it's like a, like a cowboy style hat. You know. Oh. I think it, yeah. I, yeah, I don't know what the lore is about that. Uh, who, so whoever knows about that lore, why or how he's wearing a hat or what the reason is or why he shows up, let us know in the comments. Yeah. So, because we're Dude, really curious. Because so. like, what if it's like one? Like, okay, what if it's like like Satan? You know, Satan is just one. Mm -hmm. You know, or like or like Lucifer. Lucifer is just one entity. I feel like what if it's one entity showing up to everyone? Everyone. I don't think it's one entity. I think it's because you know how like there's popular like demons and spirits. You know what? Okay. I don't. Know, I don't know how to explain. So for example, like I know there's like a physical one, but let's say like El Chupacabra, right? Okay. And like, oh, it's a chupacabra, a chupacabra. And then you go to like, okay, like everybody knows a chupacabra. And yeah. then Bigfoot, everybody knows Bigfoot. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's like a specific, like in the spirit demonic world where it's like, I guess like a popular entity, I guess. And so, it's just that specific type of entity. I don't think it's oh, that. Okay, like, so, so you think it might be like a race of demons or whatever, though? like for lack of a yeah, better term. Like I'm not saying it's, it's, it's just one like specific entity, but I feel like it might be. Like, a, I don't know how to so, explain it. So, I don't know so, how to so explain it. So then maybe, it. like, the, the hat that they have or it has, we all mistake it for a hat because that's what our minds can maybe, comprehend. Or maybe it's just, like, a symbolic thing for them. But I don't really reality, fucking know. But in reality, like, they, they have, like, a weird, like, head shape or whatever the fuck? Probably. And I'm, I, I mean, and I'm not saying all shadow people wear hats because, I mean, from the videos and stuff that I've heard and seen, you know, it's, it's a lot fucking different. I mean, and they always show up at night, so there's no reason to wear a fucking hat. Maybe it's a regional thing. <laughs> They are, <laughs> hey, Texas, they're in man. Texas wearing cowboy hats. They're in Mexico, they're wearing sombreros. Hey, bro, bro. Hey, in France, they show up with a little fedora, <laughs> bro. They're like, bro, hey, it's a regional are demons, thing. Are demons racist? Yeah, no. bro. Are they just being racist with hats? No, no, What's no, going no. on? They, huh? They're, they're culture appropriating. Uh, the RGV right. yeah. has some rich history. The demons ain't trying to get canceled. You know what? Yeah, Respect bro. for my demons. 
demons, no, man. You bro, they are trying to get canceled, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine next time, like, like you're drunk as fucking. You say you're like, hey, capella, that's my culture, bro. You know you, you know you Halloween fucking costume, bro. Like, yeah, Halloween to fucking get dragon to hell and shit, <laughs> bro. When have you heard of a French man? Talk about how they saw a Mexican-looking ghost. Well, the Never. thing is, I don't, I don't talk French, so I don't listen to French podcasts or anything. <laughs> so what the fuck, bro? We ain't got no French friends. We don't yeah. eat in France. We don't yeah. eat baguettes. Actually, you know what we, I mean? We have, we have one French friend. You know, Who? But, uh, but foreign she, exchange. Yeah, but, but I mean, I'm pretty sure oh, she's already in France. But I, I, it's not like we had, like we oh, asked her ten years ago. It was like, the one that okay. you yeah. didn't meet her. You didn't meet her. Yeah, the, 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 the more, one in, in, yeah, from the, high school. The, the, yeah. you, you didn't meet her. I talked to her like twice. Damn, he's no, all bro, jealous, way. He's all jealous, <laughs> way. Hey, wait, he, he loved her, way. I'm not going to say, I'm not gonna say nothing loved. just to protect my yeah, rights as a human. You're um, not going to say nothing. Anyway, no, but dude, uh, it, it is weird that everybody sees it with a hat, especially because like, okay, um, you know, uh, the, the girl that I was dating a long time ago. Say your oh, name, please. Uh, pff, imagine. <laughs> okay, well, like, you know how she would live with her cousin, right? Right. Okay. And in that house where, like, their girlfriends would sleep over, uh -huh. there was this one girl who would always get drunk. And course, this yeah. this one time, she got really drunk. And she was, like, in between blacking out, but, like, still, like, you know, like, conscious. <laughs> 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 no, fucking throw up all over. <laughs> apparently, like, she was kind of like, you know how, like, drunk people get, like, kind of, like, laughy and shit like that? Okay, like, sometimes. Laffy, taffy. Sometimes, yeah. Anyway, so she would say, like, oh, what is that, like, silhouette do or like what is that man with the hat doing over there and but nobody Fuck saw that. it but she did see oh it, it. was me in the closet Ow. Yeah. But, <laughs> nah, but the thing is like that wasn't the first time that, that somebody claimed yeah to see that guy in that house and it was always this black silhouette again with, the, the, with the sombrero that area was that, but that was upstairs right uh, it was all over the house bro yeah. that area which is in far uh-huh uh it had a had a plantation okay back in the day mm. so maybe it's it could it's be one of the ghosts but, but from the thing is like is it, why is a hat it, yeah like everybody's used it with a hat no uh, th there's no uh there's a a type of hat known as a plantation hat and well, those hats are yeah. pretty big yeah actually yeah that that does make sense it could be like just somebody that died but yeah, also well, yeah but that does um, but how would that describe it being in different locations with the plantation hat that's the well, thing. There were a lot of plantations in the in the valley back in the day. Well, yeah, no, I mean, no, but uh, like yeah, we're talking about other states. You know how like I mean, not just here, but I'm not just sure if else. everybody sees shadow people with hats. Maybe it's just some. yeah. I'm not saying it's every single time. What the fuck? <laughs> you dropped your phone, bro. I'm not saying it's every day. I'm not saying it's every shadow person or shadow people that they see. Cause yeah, because I've seen like videos and shit, or people talk about like shadow people and all this shit. Yeah, that. But they, they don't have a hat. You know what I mean? It's yeah, just yeah, yeah. shadow people. It's just a shadow person. And it's, you know, speaking of that, I, I actually, I'm kind of going to get off topic, but it's about the same shit. Okay. Just real quick. I can't remember if it was in a, I'm going to try to find it and send it to you so you can plug it into the, yeah, to the please, please, podcast. Please, please, please. But dude, it was kind of, it kind of creeped me out a little bit because it was a super generic video. I think it was some dude or some chick recording it in their crib, right? And they're like, oh, like, is this like shadow like weird shadow thing right yeah and like they, they started like walking i think it's like towards a room and in the room they have a window and i think it was sunlight and and it's in between like the blinds and the window like that's where like the shadow thing was yeah and it was you could just it's kind of like a weird looking shape and that's a manner the girl's like walking towards it you just see it go Phoom. like it comes out of like the the like the curtain and it go kind of like goes under the bed, Damn. and it kinda, and it looks really weird. I looks, think I've seen that. Video yeah, it looks somewhere. like a dog or a cat, like being like yanked super fast. Yeah, but it was like like that a shadow figure. I'm not yeah. saying it's a shadow person. I'm just saying it's a shadow figure. See? You know what I mean? And and I feel like there's different types of like shadow spirits that can take different types of forms, like the guy with the like the hat, or yeah. even just a normal like person silhouette, like silhouette or an animal shape. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and it's because. It's, and I know because in one of my vlogs a while, last year when I went to Lone Star and Excel 2023, um, I think it was in the second day vlog where I, I, I'm i talking to Brian and Austin because we're in the hotel room. Yeah. And I don't know if I described it before in the podcast, but you could see in the video, you could probably just go and get the clip of it. But um, <laughs> Get sued. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> sue Max and shit. I didn't give you a laugh. No, I give you permission, Max, to Thank use any type of content. Thank you so much. Um, and I, I, in the vlog, like I was talking to Brian. Oh, no. Before that, 
uh, we, we were going to wake up super early because paintball tournaments, especially like NXLs, you know, they start super early and shit. Yeah. And we want to get there early, get parking, whatever. Yeah. So we wake up. I think it was around like, I woke up to go pee. Wanted to wanted to wake up to go pee. So I fully woke up. Like I had, I was chilling because I had to go pee. I checked my phone. It was like 6, 6.30 in the morning, somewhere around there. I'm checking my phone. I'm on my phone for like two, three minutes. I'm like, okay, I got to take a fat ass piss. So then... It was me and Brian. We were sleeping in the bed, and then Austin was sleeping like in the pullout bed, right? So then I sit up in the bed, and I'm just chilling. I'm just rubbing my eyes, check the time on my phone, and then as I as I get up, like I stand up and I put my Crocs on, and I'm looking and where the door's at because it's the the hotel room. You know how it's like a list, a slight small hallway, yeah, 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 and then yeah. the room. Yeah, yeah. Bueno, and that's like a, like a typical hotel. Yeah, like a typical hotel room, uh, and where the doorway was, I stopped and I was looking and I was like. The fuck? And I was, like, trying to focus myself because, I mean, I was, quote-unquote, barely just waking up. Yeah. But I was fully awake. I wasn't like, oh, like, I'm barely waking up. No, like, I was completely awake. Yeah. And, and I'm looking. I'm just standing there, and I see a big fucking silhouette. Like, I'm 6'3". That silhouette was at least almost touching the fucking Hell, you're six ceiling, two. bro. Dang. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm 6'2". <laughs> and, I, and I was looking at the shadow, and I'm like, like... I was like, that looks like a fucking person. And as I was looking at the shadow... It was kind of like shifting and like kind of like disappearing and reappearing. Yeah. Like constantly. And it was like shifting back and forth and like going like, shh, like it was weird. And I was looking at it and I, you could clearly see like the head shape, the shoulders going down to like it was just a body figure. And I'm like, and I couldn't tell if it was moving up or back or if it was just still, I couldn't tell. Mm. And I'm like, nah, like maybe, maybe that's just Austin. He Maybe he's just trying to fuck with me. That <laughs> just he, right, right like maybe there, he bro. took a piss or something. He's just standing there to fuck with me. At 630. And, and I grab my phone and I don't turn on the flashlight, but I turn like the, 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 the light of the screen and yeah. I aim and Brian's knocked the fuck out. And then I look at the other idiot, which is Austin's dumbass, And he's just knocked the fuck out. And I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. And then I was like, hell no. And I just went back to bed and I and I knocked out. Yeah. And, and, you and you didn't go pee? And I, nah, fuck no, I didn't go pee. I ain't trying to fucking get my little dick touched by some shadow <laughs> man. And then, uh, and See, then. I don't think they can touch you though. Well, I really don't, I don't like, know. cause like, we I don't want to know. We would have heard it by now. What do you mean? That we is, that is true. We, we would have had like stories would, yeah. of like a shadow person attack me. I don't uh, think they can like touch you. Like scratching or physically yeah. trying to touch you. Not in that way, but like, you know, like, like attacking you. So I think we would have heard it. So, I mean, there's a reason why yeah. these shadow people are always at a distance. And people are like, sometimes maybe they record them and maybe it's real, maybe it's fake. But, like, it, they're always at a distance. And it's always reported as, like, oh, I saw. Like, you saw. Yeah, and, exactly. But never, like, That's oh, I got attacked. That's actually true, now that you mentioned maybe, that. Maybe the reason why they take up the form of shadow people is because they are energy that's yeah. sort of afraid. Perhaps. And, and maybe other types of of uh paranormal entities take up other forms because they're not afraid and so or maybe, maybe it's just like a way or maybe who knows maybe it's just like an entity or a spirit or something trying to get help and they're trying to be seen or some shit you know what i mean it and could be but then like because you never know you, you, you don't I, know I, I don't think they would take that shit i mean maybe it's because we don't i mean yeah. we're not spirits so well, we don't that, know that, you that's know the I mean? thing like like you're never gonna know yeah that's the end of the day and like, then, it could be anything probably it yeah. could be a demon it could be somebody that died that's like please help me it could be whatever uh, a spirit you, I mean, you never that know we, we don't even or a fucking like, demonic ass shit you yeah. really never know or, li or like a whole different type of spirit that we we don't know because we just don't we're not there yeah you know in, in that sort of realm yeah. dude it's crazy but like and, the thing is like the uh oh well, go, go for it you, you were oh, gonna finish your yeah story? yeah so basically and that that's when i was when i pulled up the camera whenever everyone was awake and i was talking to brian about it and brian said i don't know if he was saying yeah, the truth yeah, or yeah. not he but, claims that he saw it right yeah he brian was like no like i saw it too and i was like you're being dead ass and he was like no like for real like i i, I think i woke up right after you because i felt you moving around the bed to go pee and i saw the shadow and and but I think he just he just didn't give a fuck and went to go pee, <laughs> knowing fucking Brian, bro. But, but like, <sighs> god damn, like the thing is like, I've, I've so funny, dog, bro. Brian would not care. He would just get up and go pee. He would probably be like, I need to go pee. <laughs> be like, fuck this guy. <laughs> He'd be like, <laughs> be like, how you doing, Shadow Sir? I'm just gonna take a piss real right. quick, bro. I don't know. I mean, like even me, like I don't want to say that I've seen shadow stuff here, but definitely it's something. You know, like mm. like whenever I wake up in the in the middle of the night, uh, I used to always like religiously wake up at three a.m. Bro, it's you crazy. You know what I just thought of? What, bro? 
you know how it's it's always been a thing for like to- like little kids, toddlers, just young, you know, young oh, children dude. that say like, oh, like I like it looks like a figure, it looks like a shadow figure, yeah. and then you turn on the light, and it's just like your jacket hanging on your wall or yeah, some shit. But what if? They, but yeah, what they if are that's actually? Shit. What if they actually are seeing something, bro? I mean, because I've said it on the podcast, and like uh, when I was little, I straight up saw a weird like black silhouette yeah, that closed talking, the door yeah, on me. Yeah, you know, like uh, I remember, I vividly remember. I don't even remember the eyes. Maybe they were glowing. Maybe not. Because memory is very, it's not, memory is not reliable. Right. Human memory is, is not reliable. But I do remember that I saw a uh, a black figure who closed the door. I felt like everything, you know, I felt the vibration of the door. I felt the, uh, like I, mean, heard I, I heard the, yeah. yeah. And right away I went to, <laughs> to, to my parents' room to run and I was crying and, and I, I crawled up in their bed. So that, that uh, event was really traumatic for me. So of course I remember it like, you know, very good. Yeah. Bless you, bro. And uh, yeah, soft. but I don't want to say that I've seen shadow people here, but dude, Not oh yet. my god, Ow. this Who's this. That? Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Uh, anyway, but uh, I, I do want to say like, definitely, I have seen like shit where I'm like half awake, and I do feel I feel like I see something, but I'm like that's probably just my brain making shit up. Yeah, and, and that happens a lot too, which is why a lot of people report getting or when it comes to like sleep paralysis or seeing stuff yes whenever like waking up because your brain is still functioning like you're still dreaming but you have your eyes open and you're seeing the irl world See, if that makes sense and that's true and that's a real thing yeah but what if that's just like a like a way to like either disprove it or explain or manipulate what we it. cannot explain i mean yeah because because the thing is like how do you prove that with science you know it's like so we just need to like it's like we can't like maybe we can't or maybe we don't want to study it so we just try to explain it with like, oh, the hypothalamus, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to make some ghost friends and be like, hey, I'll be honest. Do y'all just randomly show up to people's houses or what's be up? Honest, I'm trying wait. to know. Because yeah. so, like also like, what if like, you know how like, okay, a little bit off topic, but like, you know how like we, we eat like shit, especially here in America, we eat like <laughs> shit, we don't exercise, we don't really walk, we're always stressed out, <laughs> you, you, you know, you know? Yeah. So what if like naturally that attracts beings or like, you know, people that want to feed off of your low energy and therefore, mm. they just bother you more at night. Okay, so factor cap. Fat people see more spirits than skinny people. <laughs> but, <laughs> That's what bro. Max is basically saying. Hey, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> no, don't put words in my mouth, bro. I'm just going to say one thing, bro. <laughs> You've seen more shit than I have. Cap! <laughs> cap! What about that one time you heard a skinwalker here at your crib? But Emiliano uh-huh. hasn't, hasn't seen or heard anything. True. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. but the question is... <laughs> never mind, I can't say her name. Uh, but has bro. she who shall not be named seen more or not... T- has Mark seen any spirits? <laughs> oh, fuck, Mark, bro. if you've seen any spirits, hit us up, you know. <laughs> Put it, Mark, yeah. You know, Mark, you know, listen to uh, listen I, I to wonder that. if he listens to this podcast, like, on, nah, on his way up. He doubt it. I doubt it, bro. All he does is watch porn and jerk off. That's all he does. <laughs> but it's not Mark, bro. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, back to, uh, back to yeah. the spirits. Back, back, back to shadow people, right? <laughs> so, uh, uh, dude, uh, but okay. This happened this week. This week, I basically woke up I want to say like around three, four, maybe maybe five a.m. Right, and I woke up and I still had sleep paralysis. I hate that shit, dude. I has is like like I've been getting better at it. Like I can I can like uh, get out of it quicker now. Mm-hmm. But bro, like, and it's weird because like, it, it, like kind of gives me the chills. But I heard like a demonic girl. Uh, saying, can I leave already? Can I leave already? And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Be like, no, 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 I'm trying to smash. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Stay it, was, a little bit. it was like right here in my ear. And so once I, I get out of the, the sleep paralysis, mm-hmm. guess what? I wake up again. See, but that's what? the thing. <laughs> yes, bro. You had like a dream within a dream type shit. Yeah. That's so happened to me before. In my dream, I had sleep paralysis. And then I woke up like for real for real, And I was like, bro, oh shit. I'm never going to forget the, the time I was fully aware that I had sleep paralysis. Yeah. And you know how everybody says, like, you cannot fucking move at all. You yeah. can't do shit. You can just move your eyes, and yeah. that's all you can do. Like, open or close. Yeah. Yes, that's and it. And when that happened to me, and, and, I, and I knew, I was like, fuck, like, I can't move. Yeah. Like, I... I, I I'm, I'm experiencing sleep paralysis, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in my head, I was like, shit, I'm probably going to, like, end up seeing some crazy, like, yeah. demon or some shit. But, uh, you know, thank God I didn't. But in my head, I was like, nah, 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 I can move. I can move. Like, people, it's probably not as hard as people make it seem. And I was like... Yeah. Like, dude, I was like this, and too for like, I swear to you, felt like thir- like almost an hour, thirty minutes, and I was trying to <laughs> fucking Ooh. move, trying to just fucking fighting for my life, trying to move, trying to be like, 
In my head, I was like, it's just in my fucking brain. Yeah. It's in my fucking head. I was like, fucking move, fucking move. And I was like this, and it just felt like my whole body was locked, bro. Yeah, and I was like, well, that, that's how I'm it feels. Fucked. Dude, but like every time that I that I get it or th that I have gotten it, I never see stuff, but I do hear shit. I will, only once have I seen, and it was a shadow person. Yeah. But that shadow person was floating, actually. Mm. And know. yeah, it kind of looked like, it, you know, like you know how in Halloween people like just put like savannas on top of them with like yeah. gold, like and they make it like a ghost. Well, it was like that. It was kind of like that. It, it looked more more of a human shaped, but it was kind of like that, and it was floating, and I was experiencing sleep paralysis. Damn. It was one of my first times actually that I experienced it, and that was I think back when I used to live super close to Memorial in those yeah. apartments right yeah, behind yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the 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 trailer parks. Um, I remember I can't recall what time it was, but it was in the middle of the fucking night, and I was up. No, 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 go, go, go. And I woke up. Well, I didn't wake up, but I woke up. I like opened my eyes, and I was just looking around. And then I go like this, and in the corner, you know how I had two closets? Yeah. On the on the left side in that corner, I see the I see the shadow, and I'm like, ah, la uh -huh. verga. <laughs> and, and, and you're was, like, just yeah, pretending no, you didn't that, see that, that shit, yeah, bro. That, that, that was the first and last time I've ever seen something while while experiencing sleep paralysis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, this, bro. I was like. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, nah, just close your eyes. So I closed my eyes. I was yeah. like, I was like, just don't open. I'm like, you're. I, I That's knew what like, I do. That's I what I do. I was experiencing sleep paralysis, but you know, curiosity kills a cat. <laughs> so and I was like, and it was and, closer, and it got closer, bro. Oh! It was like halfway in my room, and I was like, I was like, bitch. <laughs> I was like, just keep them closed, keep <laughs> yeah, them closed. Yeah, yeah. I opened them again, and it was in the edge of my bed, dog. Like this is my bed. It, let's say it was in the corner. I closed my eyes. Oh. When I opened them, it was right here. I closed them, and it was right here. Oh. And it wasn't standing straight. It was like at an angle. It was like like, like it imposing look, itself I'm, on I'm you. I'm getting fucking oh, yeah, chills. Yeah, yeah. But huh. how did it look again? Just by remembering it. How, how did it look again? Huh? Like it, it was like. How do I explain it? It looked like a like a person had like a sheet over them. Oh, you could, okay, it was you, it you, was the same one. Yeah, that was you could, you could kind of see like the 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 shape of a body. Yeah, but it was floating. Uh, and then they would have floating. Me. And then <laughs> so then I so I saw it in the corner, closed my eyes, got closer, closed my eyes, got closer, and it was in the literally on the edge of my bed, like touching the wood. Yeah, but it wasn't standing straight. It was at an angle. Yeah, so it was kind of like on my face, but not really. But it was like kind of a fart. And when I saw it, uh, that third time I saw it, I looked, I was like, oh, fuck that. <laughs> and I straight up just didn't open my eyes after that. <laughs> yeah, no, I ended up, yeah, I ended up knocking out and then I woke up the next day. Knocking out? Like you couldn't, like you didn't like, like shake yourself? No, into... no, I, I just said, I was like, I'm experiencing sleep. I just can't move. So I, yeah, that fucking third or fourth time where I closed my eyes, where when the fucking motherfucker was right here. I said, fuck that. If I open my eyes, it's going to be trying to make out with me or some <laughs> bullshit. I'm good. <laughs> you should have been like. I should have been like. <laughs> We should have just be like that, right? <laughs> like, and then up? I closed my. And then when I woke up, I woke up like I because I usually wake up just opening my eyes. Yeah, I opened my eyes and I was like, I fucking. And I started moving. I was like, like like you remember? <sighs> I was like fuck. And then I was just like looking over my around my room. I stood up, went to the restroom, washed my hands and shit. And I straight up like just sat down in my bed like this. Like there's there's just no way I just fucking experienced that. Like I was in disbelief, bro. Yeah, it's because dude, it, it was very crazy. fucking like traumatic. Yeah, but that was the first happens. and last time that's. Hopefully that's ever happened yeah. to me, bro. bro like, it's never happened to me. Toca. It's okay. Like ever? I'll call sleep that spirit tonight so, so you can experience it. You'll You've never had sleep paralysis? Never. Cap. Damn. You I probably know, has it just remember. Well, the thing no. is, like, like, I just feel like it's, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like, like, again, going to the, to the, to the vibration and shit like that. Like, uh, cause you know, I'm spiritual. I believe in that shit. Mm -hmm. I, what if it's like, it's just, it, like the fact that it's very common in the world. What if that's sad? Like, it's like a, it shouldn't be common. Like, you should not be at that frequency. You know what I mean? With the sleep paralysis? Yeah, like, like you only get attacked and, like, well, calling sleep paralysis like, like an attack, you only get attacked if you're at that low frequency. I don't know, maybe. You know? I don't know. I don't know about And it's just like, it's, it's just kind of like so often that, that it's like, like a normal now phenomena, but it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be normal. Dude, it's because uh, I, I had a, fuck, I had a, I, I used to be, like a girl that I used to date, right? Right. Like like a, like an ex of mine, she would get sleep paralysis constantly, bro. Like God religiously, damn. and uh, bro, like whatever she would tell me about like these events that would happen, like these right. uh, attacks, like like uh, at night, she would kind of like start getting teary and kind of like nervous. Mm -hmm. And she would tell me like she would always see stuff and hear stuff while she couldn't move, and it was always like shit that like was trying to like get to her or like attack her or something. And like she would always have these these moments of panic, like she didn't know how to handle it, right? But dude, like, 
uh, and like, I don't know, just, just like, like looking back at it, like, uh, you know, she was going through depression. She's a crazy she, ass bitch. Uh, no, like, like she, she was always going through depression. She was always like, I don't know about her diet, right? You, know, she, maybe, you know, maybe that's why. Yeah. Like maybe whenever people like experience a type of emotion, mainly when it exactly. comes to like depression, anxiety, anxiety, loneliness, and all this fucking yeah. bullshit. Or especially if you drink you a lot, you smoke a lot. You know, shit. You know you, what I mean? You, yeah. Like you get in that in that low frequency and that low vibe. And what if that's why that shit happens? Mm. And we don't know if it's actual demons trying to attack you. And what if they are? But they can only get to you if you're in that low ass frequency. Fuck. I'm a heavy sleeper. <laughs> he's like, this I don't guy. give up. But he's like, yeah. I check out. Yeah, like, I check out. I'm good. Fuck. And you know, running the ball back to how you were saying how yeah. you how you would wake. I don't know about now. I don't think you do. But how you say how you wake up randomly, like yeah. at times. Bro, it, it, it still happens to me, and I don't know why. I could sleep early, or I could sleep late, and, I would, and I'm would, and i always waking up around the same time, which is at 5 in the morning. And yeah. I think I've already mentioned this in the podcast. I wake up at 5 or 2. I could be super dead fucking tired, bro. Like, let's say I could be running a whole ass fucking marathon all day with 30 minutes of sleep before, like the night before. And when, let's say I knock out at 1 a.m. I would always wake up. Then the 5 a.m. time frame for some fucking reason. It's usually 5 a.m. sharp. And you wake up feeling rested or you wake up like all sleepy and drowsy? No, I wake up like mamalon. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. No matter how tired or how much energy or whatever the fuck it is whenever I go to sleep. I I get that too, but I think it goes back to your uh, circadian rhythm, you know? like That's just when your cycle ends. And so you you, you wake up and you're like, oh shit, like I, I feel rested. Yeah, and then, and then you go to sleep, and then you wake up, and I you bet feel tired as you fuck. You feel tired as fuck, yeah. right? Yeah, most of the times, not yeah. tired as fuck, but I'm like, I feel like I need more sleep. Yeah, but, but then every now and then, I'm like, okay, like I said, badass. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. But it's been a while that I've woken up and been like, damn, that was some badass sleep or like a badass nap. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro, I guess like I don't know, like, uh, how do you prove that with science, or how do you study shadow people with science? You know what I mean? I mean, is there really? Because like, I mean, you can you can get the little the little radars that people do for like uh for like talking to demons or talking to ghosts when when they play the Ouija board mm-hmm. or the little radars that that, that that padrino that padrino takes. To oh his, to right, his right, 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 right. But then again, like shout out to padrino. Yeah, but <laughs> you, you don't know when they're gonna show up. That's true. You know, that dude, because like there's so many videos and like <laughs> go for it. Maybe by studying. The brain when people are asleep. Oh, it could be, but but how do you? Well, I guess different type is, of like wavelengths when the, that the brain gives out. Maybe, but like, but also like, <clears throat> I just feel like they show up when you're alone. Like, like think about Quote it. Quote unquote, yeah. Because like, okay, when like when when you guys were little, did you guys ever like see something? You, you got scared, and then you call your parents, right? And then they came and and everything was chilling. Everything was chilling. Nothing ever showed up while your parents were there. Yeah, that happens a lot. So maybe it's that. So like, you need to be alone. Dude, I don't know. I'm gonna talk about a story now that you now that you reminded me of that. Go for and it, I actually want to ask my dad and mom after I get out of this podcast or tomorrow because now that like you you unlock the memory that I forgot I had. Oh shit! And it it happened a couple times. Uh, a while back, I don't know if I had if we were friends back then. But no. whenever the hailstorm came, like really really crazy. No, I mean I've known you for. But a that decade, was but bro. that was. Before, like way before the hailstorm. Look, if it was if it was seventh grade and before, no. If it was seventh grade and and, and I after, think yeah, yeah, I think it was it was before seventh grade. No, uh, well, it wasn't? I, I remember like two or three hailstorms when I was when, when I've been here. Which one of them was probably eighth grade? Because I, I I specifically remember because yeah. like all of the Bird Octon uh, dealerships mm. were like, "Fuck, what are we gonna do?" Because <laughs> everything got fucked. Yeah, everything got fucked. Yeah. I, well, I don't know. I can't remember, but it was uh, back in the day in some apartment complexes I used to live in. Okay. And this was back in the day. Shout out to my sister. When me and my sister, we would sleep in the same room. Oh, yeah, I, would, I didn't know you. Yeah. So <laughs> no. my, my sister had her own bed, like her own little side of the bed, and I had my own little side of the bed, right? Yeah. And whenever you said that about like, oh, shit happens, and then you call your parents, yeah. and then like nothing happens. Yeah. It, it, it occurred that... First of all, it was always usually my fucking, like, my sister's fucking creepy-ass fucking dolls, bro. And I'm never gonna forget. I don't know if she still has it, but she had, she had like, this, like, four-foot-five, like, big Barbie doll that she had that she had in the corner that was just, like, this oh, fucking staring dude. straight at me and a bunch of creepy... I don't know. My cousin my had one fu- of those big-ass Barbies. Yeah, bro. Fuck that, and, like, bro. there would be times where, like... Fucking animals. I shit. would feel that, like, that, like, the Barbie's like this, and it would be, like... 
<laughs> and bro, like I, I could have sworn to God, I, I I've seen it several times yeah. a fucking doll doing that, but I just really never acknowledged it. Yeah, I always just thought it was in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, because when you when you're little, you're taught that you see shit. Yeah, like you're taught you see shit. It doesn't yeah. exist. And it's all in your to, head. Yeah, all that type of bullshit. What you yes. See, yeah. Now that that fucking memory you unlocked whenever you said that about parents coming in and checking up on you and shit whenever you these get shit uh, see or feel shit. It's it's crazy because. There, there were a couple nights when it first happened. I was tripping the fuck out. I, I was, I was asleep, and I woke up, and I don't know. Like, I'm gonna grab this book for example, right? Let's say this is my bed, yeah. and I was laying on it. Yeah. And I woke up with my bed going. Oh. Nah. I, I sort of. I, I asked my mom or my dad. They will tell you. <laughs> there was an earthquake only in Frank's bed. No. <laughs> like, like I woke up feeling the like the. It wasn't like oh like okay, all crazy, okay, okay. but it was like a crazy like it was like small vibrations, but I could feel it. Okay, okay, okay. And, and I would feel like like the vibration, and I woke up, and I woke break, I woke up screaming and crying. Fuck. Then my, my parents came and I and, and I com had completely forgot but about that. But your sister that. was like right next to you. Yeah, but my, my sister was knocked the fuck out, and oh. then she she, she would kind of wake up like telling me to shut up and shit. And then my parents would come yeah. to the room and be like, "What happened?" And and I would tell them like, "No, like I felt my bed shake, like yeah. it, like it shook." And then and then my parents were like, "Oh, we, uh." They say, oh, it's because sometimes, like you know, the water runs through the pipes around the house and stuff, yeah. and like it, it, it can shake the floor, the bed. No fucking pipes are that yeah. strong to fucking shake a whole bed. No, bro. No, no, no. You know what I mean? And that's what my parents told me yeah. before. You know what I mean? Yeah. And now that I think of it, it's like, well, what the hell? Why would why, why would they say that? Yeah, you know? I mean, probably like, to, to calm you down. Exactly. Yeah. You know what 100%. I mean? And then and then my mom would like like stay with me until I knocked out, and then yeah, she would leave. But that happened uh, like a honestly like a good three, maybe four fucking times. That that, that happened that like your that. Your bed I would, would shake. That, yeah, that that I would wake up because my bed was like v vigor, like vigorously. Yeah. yeah, like like have you seen, for example, like in those movies where there's an apartment that lives right next to like a train rail, and the train is passing by, and like the bed is like it yeah. was basically like that. But but, but like trying what, to talk to you, bro. But like, what the fuck is gonna try to? Like what would shake my bed that hard? No fucking pipes, no fucking nothing would shake. Unless it's a fucking earthquake, but everybody would feel it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Cause like, dude, pipes can sound like marbles. Like if if you're like in a in a in a room and there's pipes going like through the like roof, through the roof and shit, they can sound like marbles, or they can also sound like like steps. Mm. Uh, Cause of the water goes. I, I believe the water goes like boom, 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 or whatever. So it Probably. can sound like steps. Yeah. But I've also heard like the explanation of on why some people hear marbles and they think it's like ghosts. Uh -huh. Or like uh, kid ghosts that are that are playing with marbles, mm. but it's not like it's it's genuinely it's like the, the, the pipe. pipes, yeah, yeah the it, pipe, it's like the water thing. pipes or the, or the ship. Yeah. I don't know, whatever. But there's, I don't think there's an explanation for that, bro. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know. I, I literally just thought about it to today, and I'm gonna I'm gonna ask either my more than I can probably gonna ask my yeah. dad, but uh, I'm gonna ask my dad and my mom be like, hey, do you, like, do you remember whenever like my bed would shake and shit, and y'all told me that all oh, like the pipes running around across the house. What did y'all actually think that? Night? Yeah, yeah. I like, want to ask them, yeah. and I'm gonna come back and t and you know, let everybody know 100%. what my parents said, especially Stay my dad. For episode three, yeah, and hopefully <laughs> they remember. But um, and in, and in those apartments, um, it's where where Chris lives. All, all those streets where the where apartments oh, are like the long ass apartments. Dude, yeah, yeah. I, I remember that. Then I, I don't know. Oh, okay, because that, that was know. after. After, yeah, no, that was in those apartments where I used to live, like a long. Dude, time. I, I do remember when you used to live there. Oh. Yeah, I, I remember that house. It was uh, where all the houses are like together. Yeah, like uh, yeah. basically connected and, and together. Like, and the yeah. roofs are like super spiky, right? And they're, I they're think like, so. They're, they're like uh, like a melon color, like uh, like orange bricks. Okay, that, I, I think so. Yeah, I don't remember the color. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are orange yeah, right? Yeah, you had like twenty yeah. ants walking across the fucking pavement. Oh, <laughs> yeah. shit. No, but um, that was like in, like in eighth grade, bro. Yeah, I can't remember. It was a long time ago. Yeah, but uh, well, that apartment it was a two bed, two bath uh, apartment, right? So obviously, my parents obviously had the bigger room and shit. And I think I don't know. Can't remember. I think it was more like my dad that told me this. Um, you, the door to the backyard was in my parents' room, and my mom would always wake up multiple times, super scared, trying to wake up my dad because she would hear people in the back. Oh fuck! And and it was like right outside the window. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So then my dad, and it happened several times. And my dad, I remember my, my dad told me this that he would wake up. Right, he would check like outside in the in the like it was a super tiny backyard. Yeah, and in that backyard there was a, a like a big wooden slash metal fence that you could open, and it was just like a long uh, like backway. Like it's all the apartments connected together, but it's like an alleyway. Okay, and it's 
like super fucking long. And then my dad was like, oh, there's probably, you know, some kids or whatever the fuck running around, like in between like the alleyway or yeah. like doing something, whatever the fuck, right? Because I'm pretty sure I really wouldn't doubt that there were people or kids that would go and like, you know, do drugs or whatever the fuck. Yeah. But uh, it, it was it was really constant that that would happen. And my mom said she would hear uh, like talking and, and screaming or sometimes even laughing. And my dad would always go and check and he, 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 would, he wouldn't see shit. You know what I mean? See, dude, it's because like also whenever I'm falling asleep, Sometimes, and I've said it on this podcast, sometimes I hear conversations and it's like right mm. here in this balcony that, that, uh, oh yeah, that, that my, my window, you should, you should buy a little camera, bro, and put it out there. Yeah. Like a ring one. But it, yeah. imagine but, that by the, the wise one, I don't know, the bro. W Y Z E, I think, but oh, dude, and it's like, what if like, whenever you're falling asleep, you start like getting into like a, cause they call it like what, like Delta or like whatever, like Theta. I don't know. It's, it's whatever. some type of phase that you go through. Yeah. That like, like your brain is like go like yeah I, I don't know how to explain like your brain is I think it's releasing some type of shit that yeah. like makes you dream like, like like the activity of your brain is either like lower or, or high I don't know what the fuck but like the frequency of it changes like mm -hmm. if, if you actually read it in a graph right I don't know what the fuck but it's that's called what they say yeah. yeah I don't know what the fuck it's called so don't fucking quote me on this and whatever don't call me a retard. Fuck you guys. Yeah. <laughs> 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 getting offended. Yeah, <laughs> no, shit. it's because like uh, they 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 fucking burn the. Um, they, they roasted me in that in that spectrum one. Remember when I was talking about the light spectrum? Oh, because random ass people yeah. in the comment section are fucking experts about yeah. that shit. Oh, by Fuck the way, we here. have to end this podcast. Remember, bro? Because somebody in the comments was like, "End this podcast." Oh, you're, oh, you're there, right. Man. You're right. All right. Well, what was the guy's name? I don't know. Let me oh, see. Oh, was it the one that I was talking <laughs> shit about, talking shit to in the, in the Instagram? Or no, what, no, it was, it was on YouTube. Knows? It was like, "End this podcast." Uh, flame emoji. So that's it, bro. <laughs> oh yeah. So this podcast oh, yeah. is now ended. It was it was a great run, fam. It was a it was a great run, everybody. Thanks, y'all. We're canceling the podcast because that one guy in the Remember that one random yeah. guy in the comment section said, y'all, just stop the podcast. Yeah. We're going to, you know, go trash the cameras. We're going to yeah. go, you know, throw this couch back in the backyard in the trash. We're going to yeah. put these so, mics uh, up for sale. Yeah, these mics are for sale. Anybody is just, uh, we're going to liquidate, liquidate 5, them at 100. bucks a pop just because yeah. it's been used by us. Ow. <laughs> anyway, so oh, what the fuck was I saying? We, You're oh, saying how uh, I was cute. Yeah, so, so the, uh, the waves, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So what if, like, you quite literally can access another dimension or like you can quite literally like your senses get more uh, like sensitive, I guess like more more, more acute, and you can like listen to more frequencies. Cause like, dude, most of what we can hear, or like most of the frequencies that that that, uh, that exist, we can only hear like a very 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 tiny fraction. And that's why, cause you know, speaking about frequencies and all this stuff. Whenever people go and like you know ghost hunting and shit, you know how they have that little radio with that yeah, certain type of frequency. We cannot because hear it, yeah, but because it's, it's, because it's all it's it's all do with yeah. frequencies, dog. You and, know what I mean? And it's been proven that, for example, plants uh, sometimes they 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 emit sounds and sometimes they can be screaming or whatever. Oh yeah, I heard but, that too. Yeah, but we cannot well, hear that's them. That's trippy. Yeah, we can't hear them because we like our our. I mean, we're we're like nerfed as fuck. Like, <laughs> yeah, for you know, real. Like our senses are quite literally very limited, so we cannot hear most frequencies. So. If there was a ghost that was like, hey, can you hear me? Hey, can you hear me? Like, we wouldn't be able to our, hear it. Our senses are so limited that we couldn't hear it. But we could probably craft up a device that, that can. But what if when you go to sleep, you can uh, you can hear a little more than when, you, when you're awake? Because mm. your brain changes. Yeah. Or it's changing. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. 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 Or and then that's when sleep paralysis comes into you know? play. Yeah. You see shit. But that still doesn't explain how people, when they're fully, completely awake, see shit, see shadow people, hear shit. Because it's happened that's to you, and it's happened to a bunch of yeah. other people. Well, it's because we're you know energy. I mean? Yeah, and that's the thing. We're, we're energy. And exactly. it comes in many different shapes and shapes forms. And, shapes and, and form, yeah. And I, I don't know, like, what, what if we just don't understand what the fuck that means? Like, we're we energy. Don't. We don't, we don't, like, we, we can't. I really can't we can't, understand We cannot it. pinpoint consciousness. We don't know if, it, if it's in the brain or the brain is, like, an antenna to it. We don't right. know. Like, mm -hmm. we literally, we don't know to this day. Or like for example, have you guys seen the 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 uh, the slit experiment, the electron slit experiment? Oh yes, no. Yeah, we're like uh, they, they they throw a bunch of electrons through a slit. Like think picture like a square that has mm -hmm. two slits, right? Okay. So if you throw a bunch of electrons through it, of course, the electrons are gonna hit on, on the wall behind the slit mm -hmm. uh, in the same pattern, right? The same okay. pattern that that uh, that the slit has, like two, mm -hmm. right? So whenever you observe it the electrons make that pattern. So it's acting like a particle. But when there's no observer, no cameras, and nothing observing it, no no measuring device, and no human observing it, they behave like a wave. 
and it creates like a five line pattern instead of two. What the fuck? So the electrons, <laughs> to some extent, are conscious. What the? That's kind of fucking weird. What the fuck? So it's proven that I don't know. Like, so is that, like, is that why it's that really mean? rare? For, we, 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 <laughs> Really rare for people to like catch ghosts and shit on camera, or what the fuck? I mean, cause cause that's that energy is like maybe fully conscious, like you and me, like in and of itself. But I think that also proves that whenever you don't see an electron, if it's behaving like a particle, and then whenever you observe it, I mean, whenever you don't see it, it behaves like a wave, and whenever you observe it, it behaves like a particle. To some extent, the electron knows when it's being measured or observed. Therefore, is it conscious or is it aware? What if it's Follow. reacting to the uh, light being bounced off of our eyes? I, and I, I, into I don't know. But hey, listen, if you're a ghost, just hit us <laughs> up and just explain everything to us. Well, you like, know, we're all confused. The, the, the thing is, like, even when, when, when they put devices to measure these things or, or a camera observing it or whatever, it still behaves like, like a particle. Mm. It's only when there's nothing, neither measuring or observing it, that it behaves, but that it behaves like a wave. So that's the trippy part. Yeah. So scientists were like, what the fuck do we do with this information? Like, we, do, we don't even know what it means. So th it goes into like quantum mechanics and shit like that. And yeah. it, it is said that if you think you understand quantum mechanics, you, you don't. really don't. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. Yeah. You don't know shit, bitch. Because yeah. we cannot explain quantum mechanics. Because like, dude, like quantum, enta quantum enta uh, entanglement. Bro, like two electrons, no matter how far away they are from the, in the universe, one reacts to the other one. They're quantumly entangled. And we cannot explain that. Why? How? That's the thing. We don't <laughs> know why. I mean, we don't know why. That's the thing. But like, it's. I think it's been proven and it's been measured. So we don't know how an electron, like over here, can be connected to an electron over there. But they are. Mm. I feel like that's kind of like what the invisible string theory is. But that's about like relationships, yeah, like your partner and shit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You heard about I, it? Yeah, the yeah, invisible that, string theory. That's the, the um, red string. The, the red yeah, string. Well, that they, they, I'm pretty sure it has different types of names, but yeah. That's but what yeah it I've is. never heard of that. The, okay, the we'll, sh we'll show you later. Yeah, we'll show you later. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're talking about no relationship yeah, and no. Nah, fuck all that no, bullshit. Not on this podcast. <laughs> fuck relationships. Fuck couples. If you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, fuck you. Oh, <laughs> I pray on y'all's downfall. I hope y'all break up oh, and shit. Mr. Passing Frank all the, the bad bridge. vibes. Misery loves company, friend. Nah, fuck that. I don't, I don't need and want nobody in my life except yeah, for one no person. That's way. Jesus Christ. No Me muero. This <laughs> 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 fucking nice shit. Fuck, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's weird because like even the, for example, like that experiment or like those results, for example, the, the spiritual people are like, oh yeah, we've been saying this for years. There's no, um, like a uh, distance is an illusion. Everything is actually connected. And then that experiment of quantum entanglement proves it or whatever the fuck. So it's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, okay. You know, <laughs> I mean, you can't, you, you can't tell them no. No. Uh. I mean, you know. So. Like, like, okay, <laughs> you know. No, it's because it makes me think like, okay, what if, what if, uh, you know, because anything that you, that's being measured is being acted on in some way. Right. It's being so, measured. So right. So what if, what if in 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 measuring, um, you know, well that that's like the whole thing with uh, Schrodinger's cat. Like if you put a cat inside a box and then you put poison, the yep. cat is both dead and alive. It is at a superposition, right? It's kind of like an electron. Ele an electron is both, uh, uh, what was it, was it that no quantum part? I forgot, bro. Anyways, uh, I think it's electrons. I'm not I'm not fucking sure. Let's just say it's electrons, right? They're both uh, at a positive and negative or whatever it's at a superposition where, where it's both yes and no mm -hmm. until you observe it then it stays fixed and mm. i don't think it was electrons but it was uh it was whatever the fuck molly i don't fucking know bro mm -hmm. but uh superposition that, that's what it is uh, okay. it's both yes and no until you observe it mm. which is why for example a quantum computer can do uh it's so much faster for specific tasks like, uh, I don't know, it could be like decoding passwords or whatever the fuck, or like solving this really complex puzzle because it's both yes and no. So instead of going like one, zero, zero, one, it goes one, zero at the same time and then one, zero at the same time and then one, zero. At the, so it can solve everything so much faster because it's doing everything at the same time because uh -huh. it's working with uh, atoms or I don't fucking know or particles that are both yes and no. They're both one and zero at the same time. They're at a superposition. That's how I understand it. But then again, uh -huh. I'm just a fucking retard. <laughs> you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I'm a fucking dumbass. So we don't know what the fuck we're yeah, talking I mean, about. Yeah, I mean, do your own research. I don't, it's, obviously, I don't know the terms, but I know the very basics of it because I like that shit. You know, it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, yeah. <laughs> dude, it's I don't know. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. Uh huh. Emiliano. Yes. Yeah, Emiliano. <laughs> well, you know, I don't. I, I really like how. You know, I don't know. Sometimes I think y'all are too hard on yourselves. Like, I don't. I think it's okay that we don't know anything because we're not here to educate anybody. We're yeah, just we here are. to talk about things. Look at a Maxis Mike school. Ah. Yeah, I'm definitely like. No, I don't. I don't care that I don't know. It's just for entertainment okay, purposes good. only. Yeah, like uh, I think there's great wisdom in admitting that you don't know something. Cap. Yeah, I know everything. Yeah. Okay. Ask me whatever you want to know. I got you. Five. I was gonna say <laughs> who's God. <laughs> five. Five, because God is everything. The number five. Damn, bro. Who created God? God Himself. Fuck, that's deep. <laughs> Keep going. I, I'm locking these questions in, huh? Can we take a break or what? Yeah, I guess. Right, so we're back with, uh, <laughs> with the second part of Max's mic this of uh, this podcast. Okay, so dude, this no. actually this actually goes back to like you know how I was saying about the the shadow figures, the, the shadow people that they can't touch you, right? Mm-hmm. And like how 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 we've never heard. Okay, okay, okay. So JP Matter sixty five twenty six says, one time, I was in my room, and I woke up from sleeping in the dark. And there was a black figure with glowing red eyes. Just like you said. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? Yeah, but it's crazy. <sighs> like the lights in a Christmas tree. God <clears throat> damn. Yeah, they're always usually supposed to be reportedly really bright. Really like, like damn. Yeah, like, like, yeah, like bright. <laughs> well, that's, that's kind of trippy. Anyway, and it came closer. And when it touched me, it vanished. Hey, but where did it touch you? Though? <laughs> Hold on, stop. Dude, that's the thing, though. I, I, don't, I don't think they can touch you. Like, I don't think. <sighs> well, like, homie said need to touch them. I know, but like I, I don't think like they can they can attack you, you know. Like I don't I don't think they can hold you. So I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they say the eyes are the windows into the soul. Yeah. The mm-hmm. eyes were red. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Red is the color of love. <laughs> oh, here you go. What if? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what what if, if what? Wait. What if what? <laughs> what if they're entities of love? Trying to do what? Touch Show, your dick? Showing up at 3am like this. It's like, te voy a tocar, te lo voy a tocar. <laughs> Bro, I'm like, hey, man. What being of love shows up at 3am in the middle of the night just going like... My uncle. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Some beings are night owls. He tells me that he loves me. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway. <laughs> okay, this is from Anonymous. <clears throat> I've had experiences... <laughs> Where I thought I was being followed and spied on. Oh my God. But it was definitely the cocaine I was on. <laughs> Anonymous. I don't know how the hell that was. Related, Good for you. Good for you. Related, All right. related to shadow people. Really, <laughs> yeah, related to shadow people. Hold on. Let me react to this message. Dale, dale, dale. Uh, there. I put a thumbs up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next person. Uh, should I say their name or not? Um, sure. All right, for my girl Lexus, right? Here we go. All right, Lexus. All right. And I also put it in the notes. I put, what's your paranormal experience? Okay, I, yeah, that's go. what I had yeah, put. Yeah, yeah. And in the video, I had put the shadow people. Yeah, but here yeah. we go. <clears throat> All right, let's do it. She said, hopefully it's a good one. Make it interesting, please. Because I haven't even read Please, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> she puts, not sure if this counts as a paranormal experience. No, I didn't read it. But <laughs> <laughs> if you can ask, it's not. Um, no. I get it, I get it. But I don't know if this counts as a paranormal experience, but have experienced sleep paralysis more than once every time my shit breaks. And then she puts, not literally, not literally figuratively. Thank you for clarifying. You don't know, literally <laughs> Thank shit you so breaks. Because it's totally humanly possible. And then she puts, uh, it's possibly the scariest thing, but your body is in a state where you can literally not fucking move. Uh, anything. Uh, hold on, hold on. I, I, I'm, I'm, my, my, my brain kind of died. My boy can't read, bro. <laughs> Where you literally can't fucking move anything. <laughs> but you're seeing it all happen at the moment of panic. You feel like trying to get to your body to move is quite frightening because you get a sense of panic, especially when you see in the dark. When you see a dark shadow above you or beside uh, you. You see, and that goes back to my fucking dude, story when I had we- sleep paralysis with that shadow. Closed my eyes a couple times and that motherfucker was right in front of my fucking bed. Leaning towards me, watching me, bro. Bro, everybody is experiencing the same thing. You see how it's super similar? Thank you for that for that paranormal experience talk. We're that all is the crazy. same, everyone. Thank you, uh, Lexi. Le- <laughs> Le- Lex- Lexus? Le- Lexi what? <laughs> Alexis? Alexis. Alexis. Alright, now, shout out to my boy Mao, you stupid hoe. Oh, Mao, why do you have to make it such a long-ass paragraph, dog? I'm here gonna, Mao, it's gonna take like 30 go, minutes to fucking <laughs> say this. <clears throat> he put... It, it starts... I haven't Genesis, read this. chapter one. <laughs> the whole Bible. <laughs> sends me a link to a Bible and shit. Alright. <laughs> So he puts, 
Back then, when I used to live in my old house, I've always encou- encountered a sh- shadow figures. And one night, I woke up around 2 or 3 in the morning, Here and I go. look into my hallway. Because I had a feeling that someone was watching me, and I saw this tall shadow wearing... And I saw this tall shadow figure oh, wearing go. a top hat. No way. Looking at me standing in the hallway. Dude was like nine feet tall. Then afterwards, I close my door and I hear something get thrown into the hallway. And it was my little brother's toy. And the things in the kitchen kept falling out of the sink. And when I go to check, nothing was thrown or anything. Then I heard someone start calling my name. And someone, and I said, nope, <laughs> and started walking to my room. Once I got to the room, I locked my door, heard someone knocking at my door. Nah. And I said, who is it? My wife or what, bro? And no response. Then I heard someone walking in the hallway and I opened the door to check who it was. And there was no one. Everyone was asleep. And I was the only one awake. And when I checked the time, it was 3.40 a.m. He put, that's all I got. Cuh. Bro. Mal, thank you for sharing that story. <laughs> but bro. A little creepy They're though. all fucking so similar. They're all the same. Big tall shadows looking at you, wearing sleep paralysis, hat. and wearing a hat. Dude, that's fucking crazy. I don't know what kind of okay, hat, okay, but it's okay. a hat. But like, like the constant is like tall, black silhouette, sometimes hat, sometimes red eyes. But always like either throwing shit around, knocking shit up, or like always showing up in the middle of the fucking night, like in the like 3 a.m. I'm going to send you a screenshot. I'm screenshotting. Yeah, screenshot yeah, again. actually, yeah. Go, go ahead and send me a screenshot so that I can... Uh, so that I can... I'll pitch yeah. him out. Are you going to go ahead, like, do it through iMessage or are you going to go ahead and uh, airdrop him? Probably through iMessage. All right, but that sounds good. But, dude, that's uh, the thing, dude. Like, uh, it's, it's always a constant thing of, like, okay, they're either extremely tall, they show up during sleep paralysis, they're wearing a hat, or like, dude, I why the hat though? I want to know why a fucking hat. Can can you ask him right now? And like, it doesn't matter if he doesn't reply like right away. Um, but like, no, no, no. what kind of hat if he remembers? Now, I, I think he described it. But hold on, let me send them to you real quick. Dude, is it like a sombrero? Like, is it like a cowboy <laughs> I don't know. hat? I think he dude. said top hat. Top it's hat. A, it's a charro negro, bro. Is Have you heard of that? No. What is that? Charro negro. He's like he's like a, a a spirit from Mexico that he rides like, like a black horse. Y cuando se aparece, es, es un charro, está vestido todo en negro, es un, es un charro. Oh. And there, there's a video of him. Uh, I think it's some dudes that are like, you know how there's people that go to, uh, what do you call it, to graveyards and shit, and they're recording? Yeah. And I think I, it was somewhere in Mexico, and it's like a big, um, like where you can like walk in, kind of like a little room stone type shit. Yeah. And it's from, kind of from a distance, and you see the, 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 the fucking, what do you call it? Um... El, el, ¿qué fue lo el que dije? Negro. Andale, el, you, yeah. you see that thing, that guy, like with the horse, like inside the room, like going across. See, but what but if like, the charro fuck? negro is just another shadow person, just different? I, well, I mean, but you could see it a lot more clearly than just a shadow. Oh, you can actually yeah, see in the, in like the, video. the details on. Uh, oh, really? Yes. There's a video. Now, what did you tell me to ask or what? Uh, what kind of hat? But but yeah, Emiliano, Emiliano called it. He said let top me, hat. Let, you know what? Let me let me Google. See what comes out. Yeah, the the, the top Why hat. Why does? Yeah, the the. Shadow. Oh, you you gonna Google why shadow people have hats? Yeah, because uh, the I phone mean, blows up. May, maybe maybe it's our our theory of like what if we interpret it as a hat, but Let's in reality see. their heads fucking different. Yeah, hunt a killer. But the hat man is a shadow person who will keep you up at night. <laughs> it will keep you by up. by Kristen Anderson. Let's see what does it say. No, maybe that's a book. No, I have no or idea. It's an article. It's an article. My, it looks like an article. Oh, okay. I thought you were reading like the cover uh, of a book. My bad. Follow Kristen, co-host of the Guy to Unknown podcast. Okay, so I guess go. she has a podcast. Shout out to the Unknown podcast. Unknown killer at or hunt a killer in SoundCloud. So shout out to them, I guess. But this is what it says. Let me see. It says, um, "Let me hear it." You only see the dark figure when you're in bed. Maybe you were just drifting off, or maybe you were just disturbed from a sleep from a deep sleep. To him, it doesn't matter. Him. To him, it doesn't matter. As long as you're some stage of hazy, heavy-eyed, limp, limp, whatever the fuck that word says, the hat man can come to call, gazing down at you with a trouble... Ma- malevolence? Well, I don't know what the fuck that word malevolence. means. Malevolence. Yeah, that shit, whatever that means. Uh, what does he want? Why does he appear? And how have so many people seen the, had the same ex- uh, experience? Uh, I talked about the hat man on my podcast, Guide to the Unknown, years ago, and I've and I've been surprised to receive uh, firsthand stories from people who've came across him since then. The, they Google variations of shadow person, hat ghost, etc. Trying to see if there are any other accounts out there to validate their experience and if they find that there are. <clears throat> the hat man is said to be an evil entity. 
often placed in a category of paranormal paranormal phenomena referred to as shadow people. Shadow people are just about exactly what they sound like. Dark, vaporous forms in shape of humans. They are Oh my another boy fucking texting me through the for the for that shit. Um Okay, but this type of ghost, so it might be uh, dilute manifestations of people who are once who are once living. Others may be something else. Say that they may be something else that we don't understand. But the Hat Man is a singular character inside uh, the broader category, reported to have particular character traits and a more solid outline than most shadow people. And a especially notable visual marker, he's always wearing a hat. And there's a lot more, but I don't, and and it describes him here. Yeah. Eight to ten feet tall. Look, I guess I'll, I'll just read this. Um, usually a top hat fedora or a gaucho, a gaucho hat. Yeah. Thinking uh, uh, Southwest cowboy. Think Southwest cowboy. Some have seen him with red eyes. Others report with featureless dark face. But he's always tall, six feet minimum. And even often people say he's about eight to ten feet tall, forcing him to crouch while standing. Imagine opening your eyes every night. And seeing a hunched figure bending unnaturally, a way to keep from hitting your ceiling fan at the top of his hat. Uh, such uh, human action or inhumane figure has to be especially eerie. And it just, you know, I mean, I guess it goes in a lot more in depth about the fucking hat man, hat shadow guy. But that's more or less. And, it, you know, every, I mean, that, that's an article that's explaining but, the same thing. But, but, Eight to ten feet, but this hat, article red eyes. This article explains it as one entity, right? As one separate entity from yeah. any other shadow yeah. specific people. So kind of like like Lucifer, kind of like in a G way, yeah, I, like I guess so. Own separate entity that shows up to everyone universally. I guess so, yeah. So it, it might not be like a race of demons, right? I've always like, wanted. I mean, I mean, no one probably knows, right? But I want to know why the hat. That's a like, thing. There's why? a why the hat. There, there's an entity <laughs> like that in my favorite game ever, Red Dead Redemption Two. And he uh -huh, he's uh -huh. a ghost yeah. who Where's is a hat? dressed in, a, a, in hat? <laughs> a who's dressed in a black suit and a, a black top hat. Does he have red eyes? No, he doesn't. Because like mm. uh, I I know like a uh, rock star like they always inspire shit out of uh, out of like lore or, like modern day shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it could be that. All right. What was the next uh, he, reply? Yeah. Here's the next reply. Uh, shout out to my boy Hector Cavazos. He put, there is a weird person figure thing in my girlfriend's house, and it stays in one room only. Whenever I watch TV and that uh, the other room door is open, I can see this pale white face. See, that's completely different. Um, I don't know what or who they want, but I never close the door because I don't want him to get angry. We've seen shelves knocked down in the room and toy helicopter uh, and a toy helicopter that were on the shelf were found on the floor. Bro, a pale face. Though. So yeah, a pale face. That's like, what he said. It's just just like showing up, like like creeping out of like the room or something. I I guess so. Or I'm assuming that maybe it's like a hall, and then like that that door frame is like directly like you can just see it. It's like at the end of the hall. Probably maybe, he probably like sees a pale face at the end of the hall or some shit. Oh, I don't know if it's like at a window dude. or something. Dude, that's the thing, dude. Because like. It, it's it all just goes back to like weird entities that we cannot explain nor comprehend. I mean, it always will be. You know what I mean? Until maybe you know we experience death, and then maybe we you know get the answers to everything then, and then we we've know. always wanted to know. Cause you like, know what I mean? You know, because like like there, there's so much like you know like lore. Like oh yeah, it's uh it's obviously somebody that died and stayed here, or it's like oh it's obviously a demon, or it's obviously a go like yeah. At the end of the day, like we we you still never we, know. We don't know. It's always with the might. It might be this. It yeah. might be that. It's yeah. probably this. It's probably that. Yeah. But it's never a for sure fucking answer, and it never will be. Dude, that's crazy. Because no one ever truly actually fucking knows exactly what, how, when, yeah. and all this other bullshit. All you know we know what I mean? is to not go to the Appalachian Mountains, bro. Dude, <laughs> speaking of the Appalachian Mountains, bro, I, I've been coming across so many damn TikToks, and it's interesting to me because... One thing I've always wanted to do in life is go to, like, a, a go fucking... Hike. Go hike. Yeah. For, like... Maybe like a week, and you camp. know, to take some of my boys to like, we all go make a fucking badass bonfire, have a badass time. I mean, I'm not saying I want to experience paranormal crazy shit. <laughs> I don't know about that. But I like, I, I want to go experience camping. <laughs> like, okay, there's this video game again, talking about video games. Yeah. Uh, Hackett's Query or the Hackett's Query. Hackett's, okay. You, you see, you, you know about the game. Yeah. It's basically, you know, about um, like a where it's basically like a werewolf entity type thing. 
you know, it's like cursed and all this bullshit. And if it bites someone else, you turn into that werewolf and shit. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and that game, amazing games, and I probably even play it again because that game is really great. Um, it's that it's a type of game where you, depending on what decisions you make, mm-hmm. it changes the outcome of the ending. Yeah, correct. And if other that characters fucking, are, I love served, those games. Yeah, well. yeah, that game is fucking amazing. Um. And it, and it's like it's also like you're you're in the fucking woods you're 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 camping out in a cabin whatever and then you yeah. know crazy shit starts popping off yeah. you know what I mean now the Appalachian Mountains I've seen Appalachian Mountains uh, I seen I mean it's mainly all on TikTok yeah <laughs> and just before we started the podcast I was showing you guys about videos about yeah, that shit bro. where I don't think it's just uh, specifically indigos or skinwalkers or entities hold on am I okay no um but and 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 I kind of. I don't want to say I'm scared of saying it, but I kind of always wanted to like experience something like out in the woods or hearing something, but no, no at the same time, cause I ain't trying to die and knowing my fucking luck, I'd probably be the first dumbass bitch that's dead. <laughs> but, uh, there's videos and I'll, I'll send them to you where, yeah. uh, I think over there where, where people live, that people that actually live in the Appalachian mountains, they have a thing where it's like, Oh, if you saw it, no, you didn't. If you hear it, no, you didn't like, yeah. just don't pay attention to like, it. Yeah. You like completely ignore yeah. the whistle or the knock. That yeah. You and I've also seen in the videos that people that live over there, how they shut their curtains, shut all their windows, like right before the sunset, you know, lock all your doors, make sure your windows are all closed. Yeah. And it's like, bro, like that's just a thing that it, that that's, yeah, you know, that's over there. And you know, it's reported that in the Appalachian mountains, you know, um, there's like cults and there's like the Indians yeah. from like the past and all that shit that have done a bunch of like spiritual um, what? rituals. Yeah, yeah, like spiritual yeah. rituals or just rituals in general. And there's, you know, there's people that continue it and, you know, there's crazy ass fucking people. And, you know, since it's such a popular place, yeah. you know, a lot of people tend to go and do even more rituals. You know oh, what I mean? Because there's, see, I see. there's been, there's been um, reports and shit about, you know, a bunch of people finding a bunch of weird like just blood all over a random, like a random spot or just unexplainable things that okay. happen over there. Okay. And, and it's been reported a bunch of people that have seen or heard a bunch of shit. For example, it's like a squing walker, Wendigo, or just any type of like weird, creepy entity. And in the, in uh, the TikTok videos that I've seen, there's one where, you know, it's, it's con- it's, con- it's trying to contact the person or calling out a person kind of like a skinwalker. Okay. Or the other one that you guys saw where it's that girl that's like on her laptop or whatever. Oh, yeah. And you hear and the like whistles knocking, or right? the taps or oh, the, yeah, yeah, or the yeah. knocks. It, it was the whistles. It was and, the whistles yeah. and everyone's like, yeah, like if you live there, like you, you, you don't hear shit. It's like, bro, how can you like imagine living in an area or like right now, let's say we're chilling right now mm-hmm. and we're hearing whistles like right outside your balcony yeah. and we're in the second floor. But, it, but you hear knocks and it's like, what yeah. the fuck? But, but it's like you know what so I mean? common that like culture knows to ignore you. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. it's already like super, like you're super used to that type yeah. of shit. And it's like, bro, like fuck that. You know, like yeah. I wouldn't want to get one, want to get used to something like, like that. What happens if you don't ignore it? Exactly. <laughs> and, and and that's why I, I kind of wanted to go more into depth about it before we started the podcast. Like, yeah. like see uh, like, oh, what happened or what was the lore about the Appalachian Mountains? Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But like, like, bro, and, and I'm pretty sure like there's other type of shit where it's like, um, like the Wendes and all that bullshit. Not specifically Probably, the Wendes because yeah. that's usually from Mexico. Yeah. But like, you know, mythical type of creatures, quote unquote. You know how they're, like people in the, in the Appalachian and the Appalachian Mountains, yeah, Bro, pretty sure. But I, but I feel like it's all mainly like skinwalkers and windigos. Yeah, but th- that's the thing. For example, like uh, if if there's shit going on, rituals and shit like that, it's very easy easy to like attribute it to a skinwalker. Very easy to attribute mm-hmm. it to a wendigo. Very easy to attribute it to a demon. But at the end of the day, like, what is it? Exactly. You. I mean, you really don't know what exact. It could be a spirit. It could be a human or shapeshifter. It could yeah. be anything. You really never know. And I don't think you want to stay there and fucking find <laughs> yeah. out what the fuck it is. You don't want to fucking you know what I find mean? out. You like know? fuck that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like if I see a bunch of skinny Emilianos naked running after me, I'd be I'd be scared, bro. <laughs> well, <laughs> like 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 the like, uh, like the guy that was he was hiking and then he saw like some, oh yeah some, like a uh, small person dude, that, just running after that him. That video is fucking crazy, bro. But, but that one dude, like his reaction is so jit. Like his fear. Yeah. It's it's. It's genuine, dude. Because there are some videos where you like you see and like people are like, oh my god, oh my god. It's like, bro, this shit looks yeah. acted as like fuck. Like it's, it's super acted. And yeah. then because you could tell the difference between when it's acted and versus where someone's like in genuine fear yeah. and they're fucking genuinely scared. Like, you know, yeah. like you can see that they're shitting themselves. You know I, what I mean? I think the conclusion on that video was uh, basically like a, like a native sort of like tribe. entity. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, it, it was like a native tribe that maybe we don't know anything about and they're completely outside of society. Like yeah. they still live like like in the Amazon forest. Mm-hmm. I think that was the conclusion on that video. 
Cause you like But if you, if you look back At the video Sorry to interrupt yeah. you uh, and I'm, I'm, I think you already have the video Or you, you might be putting it up soon yeah. But You could see in the very beginning Of the video It's running on all fours And then it, it really? looks like It starts chasing him With two feet Like like on legs To me it looks like a human Fully developed But tiny I Like it looks know. like an adult I mean, It looked really thin to me Yeah I, I don't know if you want to Watch the video back But yeah. it, it, uh, Right Like for the first couple Like the first second Yeah You see it coming out with In its fours Running in I fours see. I see And then it starts running Like human And it's white and hairy yeah, no, it it, it 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 looks like a like a like a grayish, right? Like a gray, I don't know, yeah, like but, some grayish, yeah, weird. But I, I think what I, what my brain you know made up was that it was all painted white, like it, it put itself like with white, kind of like a camo type shit. Yeah, or like 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 white mud. I don't know. What if it was a monkey? No, I don't think it was. Oh, a monkey. I, I've Dude, never no. seen a monkey run full speed in all fours and then start running. <laughs> yeah, in no, two legs, bro. It, like it's it's uh it, it's it's bipedal number one and number two like its movement looked like a human, dude. But just mm-hmm. tiny. It looked like a weird, too skinny human. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that's what the, that was the conclusion. Maybe it's just a native from an, a tribe that is completely uncontacted. Mm-hmm. It's completely outside of society. But because, like, dude, there, there is, like, uh, you know, little tribus. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you call like them tribes, right? Tribes, yeah. Yeah. Like in islands that are completely uncontacted. Yeah. And if you go by boat, They'll kill be like, you. What the, yeah, because they'll be like, what the yeah. fuck? Like, they'll kill you. Because they like, don't know what the hell's going on around the world. They don't know mm-hmm. no technology. Yeah. They don't know nothing. It's all just sticks and stones for them, yeah. basically. There's actually a Google Earth picture where, like, there, I think there was a plane passing by. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was a plane passing by. And they're all looking up, and they're all painted, like, red. But what they're the all fuck? looking up, like, and with their arrows, and their, I think their spears. Uh-huh. And they're just, like, looking up, like, what is that? Like, um, what is that? What I don't fuck? know, metal bird or whatever. Because, uh-huh. like, like, of course, like... Either they barely see that, or that's just completely alien to them, dude. Yeah, yeah. And, and then it's just we use that to tribes? manipulate them. Ow! Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm taking over your island, bitch. Ow! Oh nah, no, no, but no. Yeah, bro. Like, I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I would be down to probably take a trip somewhere in the Appalachian Mountains or just the fucking woods in general. <sighs> you hear right here on episode thirty-three. I am not down. <laughs> Why are you never down for that, bro? I don't know. I, Why? Dude, I don't. I don't want to fuck around and find out. You're more like these gonna get killed by a fucking bear than a pinch of skinwalker. <laughs> I so mean, might as well exactly. get killed by a bear. Ex- no. Well, just buy a bear spray. Just yeah, that's <laughs> You're it. Right, just that's shoot it. Shoot him in the head. Yeah, that's yeah, it, bro. yeah. Feed the pinch of bear. Draw a circle around you. <laughs> yeah. With the with the backward sombrero. Ah. <laughs> Stupid. It always ass. works, bro. It yeah. always works. But nah, I mean, I, I want to go for a fucking hike and go camp out at, in some like in the woods. It, and it shit, depends. Or a like cabin or something. H- have you ever been hiking? No, that's why I want mm. to do it. But like, I, I would suggest that you go hiking first, familiarize yourself with hiking, and then go hiking nah, again. Pelo, and camp. It makes well, it more interesting. Well, I don't know, bro. So that way, if I'm getting chased and I don't know where I'm going, you know, the adrenaline pumps I, up even more. I, w- I went to the to the um, to uh, Guadalupe Peak. Uh, it's like the the highest point in Texas, and do like on the way down with Steven, bro. It was a harder one. Uh, no, no, no. Like uh, we encountered a, a bear. Oh shit, dude, that was scary. What was it like a brown bear or black bear? It was a black bear. So you know they, they're not like they don't attack as much. These kids, they're, they're very skittish uh, apparently. But it was a cub. Oh hell nah Run and So you know the mom's nearby yeah, dude Yeah fuck that So like like literally like uh, we, were, we were on our way down And then there was people coming up They're like hey have you guys seen the, the I bear I was straight up pet it Yeah <laughs> Right <laughs> They're like hey, hola chiqui <laughs> Fucking get my uh, arm bit off Come with that Just get dragged Ah shit nah, but, no, then, no, no, no. But, but yeah we were like no, we haven't seen a bear, <laughs> and they're like, "Oh yeah, apparently there's, there's like a like a like a cub like somewhere, so just be careful." And then we were just walking and walking and walking, and do like five minutes later, we hear like the the the, 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 the leaves go right like in the oh, bushes, yeah, and then it like we we didn't actually see it, but uh-huh. we heard the the you know like it was yeah. running, and so Stephen and I go like, Fuck. "Nah, bro, yeah, we're dead. like like we we cannot fuck around and find out." Yeah, so. We just we just kept on running like the whole trail. We we ran for like, I want to say like ten. What felt like ten minutes. Mm. Uh, not run, but like jog, you know, jog on the way down, and until yeah, that that's it, you know, mm-hmm. like because uh, we heard like the little cub like go kind of like to the right, and like, the trail kept on going straight. Mm-hmm. So we just we just fucking went like Dude, that, bro. Crazy. Yeah, because you know the mom. If the mom shows up, it's over. All right, what if we <laughs> go to the woods, but like we stay in a cabin instead of a tent? I, I like that, but then we're ju- you're just asking for a horror story. <laughs> That's why. Maybe you'll come with something interesting. You know, we could take some cameras, you know, set them up. All right. You know, where, where at? Just find one. Well, the cabin. Let's go. Like a, like an Airbnb yeah. or what? 
Yeah, well, I, I guess I, I mean, I don't know I've never been But I'll do some research <laughs> And see what's up I'd be down Fuck it I mean, I don't know about If, like, if y'all want to do it here in Texas yeah, or we, we take the mics for a podcast there you do, that'd, that'd be, be cool, dope. That'd be cool, that'd be In cool. the middle of the night, 3 a.m. I mean, whip, I'm going to be Ouija knocked board. out, but fuck it. Nah, oh. I'm going to be woken up. Ow. <laughs> so only for that event, Max yeah. Max at night. Oh, fuck. Dude, well, I, version. I, I, I really hope that we don't we don't end up encountering the hat man <laughs> after this podcast, you know, because nah, we talked about it so fuck. much. Fuck, hey, just leave us alone, man, please. Please, uh, please, please, please. Well, any, any final closing thoughts, bro? Emiliano, Frank. This mic smells pretty good. <laughs> There's uh, a lot of people that have talked into that mic. But hey, all right. hey, y'all's breath smells pretty good. Damn. Yo. What, what, what y'all kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of toothpaste y'all use, man? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next episode. Um, we hope that you don't <laughs> encounter any shadow people, nor the hat yeah. man, and stay safe. But if you guys have encountered anything, if it's paranormal or mainly shadow people, which apparently are wearing hats or red eyes let us know in the comments max hopefully you make a little short about this that'd be cool so that we can review it for the next podcast and read them out because that would be really fucking interesting yeah. the more detailed the better yeah 100 yeah, all right thank you guys for watching and we'll see you the next one